How's everybody doing? Thanks a lot for coming. Um, we are excited that it's finally game week. Our players are very excited that it's game week. We have a tremendous opponent in Texas. Um, camp wrapped up on Saturday, as, as you all know. Uh, our players did a tremendous job of focusing on each other, focusing on sticking together, obviously continuing to uh, think about, talk about, grieve about, and find different ways to play for Jordan. And that's something our entire program is doing, and we're very proud of the way our players are handling that going through that and as we've said the last time we spoke that's an ongoing process and uh, our players are doing a great job with that so really excited about that uh, we're focused on our players we're focused on the safety and well-being of our players and, and getting through this process and it is a process as anybody who's ever lost somebody realizes so that's where we're at but we are you know class started yesterday we're excited about school getting going for our guys and we're excited that it's game week we get to play somebody else so like everybody else in the country, we're excited for Saturday afternoon to get here. So with that, I'll answer any questions you guys have. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Matt, given the circumstances with this preseason, what they've been through, do you feel that they are totally focused on, they've been able to focus on Texas without having the distractions creep into practice, creep into preparation? The honest answer is I, I hope so. We're working very hard at it. We talk all the time about being right here, right now. The best I can be is what I can do right here, right now. Everything behind me is behind me. We talk about it probably daily as a team, and I couldn't be prouder of the way they're working at it. As I mentioned, we've all had grieving processes and things like that to deal with. So we're, we're helping each other. When somebody's having a tough day, we try to help each other out. And, but I, I think everything that they've dealt with, they've done the best job they could possibly do. I think we're as ready as we could be given the situation that we're in. I feel very good about that. Questions? That'd be awesome if we're done. I'm out. <laughs> Uh, have you decided on a starting quarterback and uh, how has it been for you being the head coach slash offensive coordinator? I have started, I have decided on a starting quarterback, but we're not going to discuss that today. Um, I'm really focused on being the offensive coordinator most of the time. That's my job. Obviously, this situation has occurred. Um, I've met with the defensive players, as I, as I mentioned uh, the last time we spoke, and certainly am more involved. With, with the players on defense, trying to get around them, letting them know I'm there, I'm available. Um, that's a different situation than when you're just the OC. Uh, but as far as the football part, I'm, I'm focused on football. I've talked to a couple guys who call plays and are head coaches, and certainly not in this situation, and trying to map out a schedule and, and the way I'm going to do it. But the main focus for me is just to make sure I still do the job that I'm supposed to do, which is be the offensive coordinator. So we're doing a good job. Our staff's working very hard, and we're sticking together. How do you balance the focusing on the game aspect of it without being insensitive to the death of Jordan and then players who are still grieving? Well, I think, again, you know, we've, we've been dealing with this for a couple of months, and it's been very, a very up and down situation. We deal with grief differently. Every player does, every person does, every family does. So we're never going to be done with that. It's not like it's ever going to go away, and we're not asking it to go away. Uh, but we do try to play football as – our players, I think, did a great job last week talking about how they want to honor Jordan. When our players play, they want to play well. They want to play well for each other. They want to play well for Jordan. That's important to them. Um, so they're kind of separate. I mean, it, it's always there. Don't get me wrong. We bring all the things we're doing, his locker and those things, Jordan's always with us. But we're trying to, when we're doing our job, let's go do our job. And whether that's going to school, again, that's our focus right here, right now. Yesterday we went to class. We told them, let's focus on school. When we come to practice, let's focus on practice. And then there's time for other things. So we're doing the best we can, and that's all we can do. Roman, on the post. Yeah, have you spoken with the investigation with the regents? And, and I guess the second part of that is, is have you tried to tone things down or stamp your own personality on things at all, uh, just being a first-time head coach and just trying to, I guess, bring your own uh, feel to, to being in charge? Um, as far as the commission goes, you know, they're handling all that. Um, 
we're, we're dealing with them. We're doing anything they ask us to do. We want, I know their, their charge is to get this wrapped up and find, find what they need to find. And we're doing anything we can to, as a staff to support them in that. And whatever they want us to do, we're doing. As far as me being a head coach, you know, this is an interim head coach. It's a day-to-day -day deal for me right now. So, um, you know, there's not a stamp going on anything you know, as far as that. You know, we've got a defensive staff, a special team staff, an offensive staff. Um, you know, every staff I can go through the whole thing and bore you. But I, you know, that's still the greatest thing about football is all the people that it takes. And we, we've been talking about that with our players, right? Our food's ready when we come inside. The shrink staff's ready when we go there. The tape, tape's ready when we go to the training room. So. I'm not stamped in anything. We've been doing this for a couple of weeks, and I've been, you know, i have just been doing the best I can. When I wake up in the morning, and we go to bed, and I say, I, ah, because you asked me the question, but I think our entire staff is doing that. It's a day-to-day -day deal to do the best we can for our players, to put them in the best position we can to play, to go to school, and, and to deal with the situations we're dealing with. Dave, WTMP. Coach, uh, what jumps off the tape when you look at Texas and uh, specifically the quarterback Sam Ellinger? What uh, what separates him from some of the other quarterbacks you guys? Have? Well, obviously Texas has you know a great talent. We all know that. I mean, they, they recruit well every year. It's going to be the second year for their staff, and um, they certainly continue to get better last year on both sides of the ball. Very talented quarterback. He can run well. He can do certain things with the ball in his hand. And I know our guys on defense are. You know, and realize there's a great challenger. So we're we're playing a tremendous opponent on Saturday, and we all realize that. So we're we're focusing on that. But they're a very good football team. Heather, ESPN. How much communication have you had with DJ? Um, as I talked about, you know, last time we talked a little bit, but other than that, you know, I'm kind of keeping that between he and I. Matt, just just to be clear, you didn't answer the question about whether you've met with the Walter Think people or with the commission. Did you meet with? Both of those. When did that happen? And did the um, all the assistants who were there on May 29th meet with both of those panels? Yes. Across the board. Across the board. Hey Matt, how, how much you know, knowledge do you have maybe on the bank that DJ Jerkins leave and how difficult maybe has it been of, of taking things day to day if, if that's the case? I don't have any other way to do it but day to day. And, and I, I respect your question. I appreciate the question, and, and that's my answer. And it's not, a, you know, you're all here to ask questions, and that's my answer. Every day I wake up, I've been said, you know, put to charge of being an interim head coach, try to do the best we can. And when I wake up, I do it. Tell somebody tells me something different, I'm going to do that. And when they do, I'll do that. Can you compare and contrast your time with Pitt, LSU, how that got you ready to have a big game when you're prepping for a big game as a head coach today? Uh, again, there have been a lot of big games. Yeah, I, mean, I think my entire career and our staff, we all have all, have all been part of big games, and uh, I've been very blessed. My career has, has been very blessed with the people I've worked with, the places I've been, the people we've played, the players I've got to coach. So all those things come along, and you think about certain situations at certain times. And, you know, obviously, we all try to recall back things that helped us. We're doing that, so I'm very fortunate. I don't. Again, we're just sticking together as a staff. I'm the guy standing up here, but we're all just going to hang in there together. It's not about me. Um, what measures were taken to ensure that players and coaches could speak freely to investigators without any fear of repercussions? Um, again, I'm not going to get totally into all that. That's, that's the commission's deal. They've got a great charge, but it was very clear that. Um, you know, we're going to be, we want, we as a program, player, staff, building, we want this to, to, to come to whatever conclusion they find. That's their job. Our job is to be honest and to focus on school and football, and that's what we're doing. And I think everybody feels good about that. Time for two more. Don. Matt, even though you say it's not about you, I, I, when, a, when a guy who's been an assistant has a ch chance to show his ability as a head coach to lead a team, do you look at this as that opportunity, or do you look at it completely different because it's the situation? That I look is? at it completely different. And, and again, I, I appreciate the question, but it's this is a unique situation. Obviously, it's a challenging situation, and ultimately, it's still about Jordan, and that's why we're here and all these things have occurred. So I, we're sticking together as a staff. I want to do the best job I can. You know, I, I certainly have pride in that, and I want to do the best job I can in, in the situation we're in. And But we all as a staff are are picking up you know, a little extra weight here and there to make sure we can go to allow our players to play fast and loose and have a good day on Saturday. Last one, Chris. Yeah, Matt, you come with your reputation as an offensive guru. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
What tell us about what your offense is going to look like and how the quarterbacks fit into the kind of mold of the offense you want to run? I think um, you know we're very fortunate at quarterback. With, we've got the skill sets we have. They're all a little bit different. All three of them are a little bit different, and um, it allows us to do a lot of things. Our offense is built to use our talent. Hopefully, that's what. If you look at our offense, you say this year they were like this. The next year they were like that. They used some backs. They used a bunch of wideouts, and they used quarterbacks who are different. Obviously, the last three quarterbacks I've coached are all all in the league right now, but they're all very different. Um, so I think. If there's anything you say about our offense, we do find the strengths, and it starts at quarterback, right? What your quarterback does, if your quarterback's happy, everybody's happy. So what he does well, we're going to try to focus on that and do a good job with that. And, um, I think our offense, hopefully, we we got to take care of the football, and hopefully when it's all said and done, we take care of the football, and um, we move the ball up and down the field in whatever way the defense allows us to do that. We're going to take what they give us. Does it give you pause for, like, uh, happiness that these are the two quarterbacks that beat Texas last year? I mean, I know Texas is a whole lot different team than they were last year, so I'm going to please be paused for happiness. I'm glad those two quarterbacks are back. I'll say that. I'm glad they're back and, and healthy, and, and they're two great kids, and I certainly have enjoyed coaching them and being around them. I'm excited for them to get to play and, um, you know, to get out there. That's a, that's a long road back, as we all know, and it's a challenging road, so I'm happy for them for that. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.